Hi friends. Today we're going to read another nonfiction book called What Do You Do With a Tale Like This? This book is about animals too. You might remember from when we read it in class, this one's pretty long. So make sure you're feeling comfortable and you have your elephant with you or somebody that you can talk to while you're watching the video. So this is a nonfiction book. Remember, nonfiction teaches us about something. In this book, <clears throat> we're gonna learn about different animal body parts. And I want you to think about which animal is pretty interesting to you and what special body part do they have? Because when you're finished, you're gonna make a picture about one of the animals that you learned about today. What do you do with a tail like this? Or maybe that's a little better. What do you do with a tail like this? By Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Animals use their noses, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which animal each part belongs to and how it is used. At the back of the book, you can find out more about these animals. So if you have your elephant with you, you can tell your elephant about some of the guesses that you make while you're reading. What do you do with a nose like this? Tell your elephant whose nose do you think that is? How about that one? Or that one? Or that one? Or that one? That one is wild. If you're a hyena, you find your next meal with your nose. If you're a platypus, you use your nose to dig in the mud. If you're an elephant, you use your nose to give yourself a bath. If you're a mole, you use your nose to find your way underground. Look at that mole's nose, oh my goodness. If you're an alligator, you breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. What do you do with ears like these? Tell your elephant what you think some of these animals are. If you're a jackrabbit, you, you use your ears to keep cool. If you're a bat, you see with your ears. If you're a hippopotamus, you close your ears when you're underwater. If you're a cricket, you hear with ears that are on your knees. If you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds hundreds of miles away. What do you do with a tail like this? Tell your elephant who you think some of these tails belong to. Whose is that one? What about that one? If you're a giraffe, you brush off pesky flies with your tail. If you're a skunk, P.E.U., you lift your tail to warn that a stinky spray is on the way. If you're a lizard, you break off your tail to get away. If you're a monkey, you hang from a tree by your tail. If you're a scorpion, your tail can give a nasty sting. What do you do with eyes like these? Tell your elephant who you think some of these eyes belong to. If you're an eagle, you spot tiny animals from high in the air. If you're a chameleon, you look two ways at once. If you're a four-eyed fish, you look above and below the water at the same time, wow. If you're a horned lizard, you squirt blood out of your eyes. Oh my goodness, I think some of you are probably gonna wanna write about that one. If you're a horned lizard, you squirt blood out of your eyes. If you're a bush baby, you use your large eyes to see clearly at night. I wanna write about that one. Look how cute that bush baby is. What do you do with feet like these? Who do you think these feet belong to? Are these ones 
or these ones or these ones or these ones. Tell your elephant what you think. If you're a chimpanzee, you feed yourself with your feet. If you're a blue-footed booby, you do a dance. If you're a water strider, you walk on water. If you're a gecko, you use your sticky feet to walk on the ceiling. If you're a mountain goat, you leap from ledge to ledge. What do you do with a mouth like this? Tell your elephant whose mouths you think these are. If you're a pelican, you use your mouth as a net to scoop up fish. If you're a mosquito, you use your mouth to suck blood. If you're an egg-eating snake, you use your mouth to swallow eggs larger than your head. If you're an anteater, you capture termites with your long tongue. If you're an archer fish, you catch insects by shooting them down with a stream of water. That one would be pretty cool to write about too. He shoots the water out of, the, out of his mouth to catch a fly. At the end of this book, there's a lot more information about all the animals we read about. If you want to learn more about one of these animals, you can tell me and I'll read you one of these parts. So now I want you to think about what did you learn from this book? Which animal was really interesting to you? And I'm going to show you what I want you to do in Seesaw. So first, you're going to see my face. Nope. Got a little bit stuck. There we go. So here's my face. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do on Seesaw today. So I want you to think about one of the animals that you learned about. I learned about the bush baby. So I'm going to use the drawing tools in Seesaw to draw the animal. I used my brush. I used my pen in here. But now here's the important part because scientists use labels when they make a picture. So today I want you to practice using the text tool to make a label. You can see I already made one label that says bush baby. Now I'm going to write another label about what was the special part of this animal that we learned about. We learned about the eyes, right? They use their eyes to see at night. I'm just going to write eyes. And now look how I can use my dragging tool to move that label. Where should I put it? By his mouth? No. By his ears? No, I should put it by his eyes. Right there. So I know the label is about my bush baby's eyes. All right. So what you're going to do now is use the drawing tools in Seesaw to draw one of the animals you learned about and then use the text tool to make a label and show me one of the body parts that's really special for that animal. I can't wait to see what you draw. See you soon.